For me, the beast doesn't include selling out. Product placement in movies is everywhere, but does it always work? Some films nail it, making product placements feel like a natural part of the story. Others, though, can't help but make you feel like you're watching a long commercial. Today on Collider, we dive into a few examples where product placement either blended in or totally took over. Starting with Josie and the Pussycats, a movie that pokes fun at consumerism. It follows three musicians, Josie, Melody, and Val, as they chase their rock star dreams. But here's the twist. They get caught up in a scheme to brainwash America using subliminal messages. The movie's over-the-top product placements, from McDonald's-sponsored bathrooms to a scene with four brand logos in one shot, aren't just for show. They're part of the satire. But did everyone get the joke? Maybe not. That's better. Next, let's talk about Wayne's World. This comedy is packed with so much product placement that it feels like a spoof. And guess what? That's the point. Wayne and Garth, who run a public access TV show, sarcastically declare that they'd never sell out while holding up bags of Doritos, Pizza Hut boxes, and wearing Reebok gear. The irony makes it hilarious, but the brands are front and center, poking fun at the very idea of selling out. Now, E.T., an absolute classic. One of the most iconic examples of product placement in this movie is Reese's Pieces. Not only does Elliot use them to lure E.T. into his house, but they become a memorable part of the story. This placement wasn't just smooth, it actually made Reese's Pieces a star, boosting sales and making it impossible to separate the candy from the film. I'll be right here. In Zombieland, the hunt for Twinkies is legendary. As the group of survivors moves through a zombie-filled world, Tallahassee's mission to find the last Twinkie provides comic relief. The scene where he finds a hostess truck full of snowballs instead of Twinkies? Perfect! The product placement here fits the character's obsession and adds to the humor, making it one of the movie's most memorable moments. Lastly, we have Jurassic World. This one's hard to ignore, mainly because of the constant appearance of Mercedes-Benz vehicles. Sure, it's realistic to see luxury cars in a theme park setting, but when every main character is behind the wheel of a shiny Mercedes, it starts to feel like a commercial break. They're dinosaurs. Wow enough. So when it comes to product placement, some movies get it right and make it part of the fun, while others can feel like they're trying a bit too hard. What's your favorite or least favorite example of product placement in a movie? Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you next time on Collider.